Hello and welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. I'm Sean from Coda Guitar and we are doing something a little bit different over the next uh, few lessons, looking at a bit of a sort of gear review focus. Um, so uh, more specifically about how you can play and get the most out of your instruments as opposed to whether Fender or Gibson's the best, that kind of thing. Um, so what we're doing in this first one is we're going to be looking at uh, different types of slides and uh, different types of uh, picks, either thumb picks and even um, finger picks or banjo style finger picks for finger style or flat picks for flat pick playing. Um, in following lessons we'll have a little look at um, sort of guitar setup, so um, the, the height of the strings uh, depending on whether you're playing slide or um, normal fretted uh, fingers um, style playing. Um, different types of pickups, uh, maybe how to sort out the intonation, you know, because a lot of the time we've got these um, adjustable bridges um, and then we're also looking a little bit at uh, amplifiers, uh, so the difference between like valve amplifiers and uh, solid state or transistor amplifiers. Uh, and then finally, maybe a little bit on effects, so uh, like different pedals, you know, distortion pedals, delay, reverb, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe even have a look at um, how we can uh, use like effects loops um, for, for, for certain pedals so you get a certain sound, depending on how seriously you want to take it. Let's have a little look at picks to start with, because uh, this is where all the noise comes from most of the time anyway. So um, we'll start with, uh, with flat picks. So I've got a few here. The thickness, so um, st standard size as in just, just you know, how, how big it is. Um, the thickness is pretty important um, because I personally use slightly thicker picks. Um, so there's not too much give because how, how I hold it in my grip, I can, I can have it a little bit looser if I'm strumming or I can have it a little bit tighter if I'm playing like single notes. So personally, I, I quite like to use a sort of thicker pick. Um, so everything that I'm demoing here is like one mil, one millimeter thickness or above. Um, so personally, um, the, these are the ones that I, I've sort of settled on over the years. I'm a little bit particular about it because I do find that you get a different sound depending on what type of plastic they're made from. So these are um, Jim Dunlop Ultex um, and these 1.4 millimeter. Now, if you, if you bought one of these that was say like 70.7 uh, millimeter, it would actually sound quite different to this one uh, because the thicker they are, the more sort of body. Um, but basically, you get a brighter sound if you use a very thin pick, um, which can be good for general strumming, but you don't get the control. So if you're doing anything that's like single note playing, either riffs or lead solos, things like that, um, the majority, there's always exceptions, but the majority of players actually use um, thicker picks just because that they can play in a greater range of ways. You don't want to be swapping pick halfway through a song if you're going from strumming to say a lead solo and back again. Um, so personally 1.4, um, but all of these are the ones has a range. They're actually mostly Jim Dunlop. They seem to be make quite good picks. Uh, sadly, I'm not affiliated with them, so uh, this is all for free. But um, here's a range of uh, one mil picks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little simple riff and I will um, show you what they sound like. So uh, this first of all is uh, Jim Dunlop nylon, one mil. So uh, here's another Jim Dunlop, it's 0.96, I mean it's, it's hardly any difference, but uh, the main difference is with this first one, it's actually, even though, because it's made of nylon, it's actually quite a bit more flexible, so you get a different tone, so here's a 0.96. Here is another Jim Dunlop, which uh, is a grey one, and it says it's a max grip, so feels easier to sort of keep hold of it. And then finally, here is, uh, this is a Martin one, this is 0.96, like a sort of tortoise shell finish. Okay, so there's not a huge amount in it, to be honest. Um, this is probably the brightest, if I do a little bit of strumming. Um, So 
so uh, I think in general that one's slightly brighter but um, but to be honest anything that's around a mill would be fine now uh, this is what the one that I use sound like now I've, I've sort of settled on this particular type of plastic just because it seems to have less sort of zing on it seems to you, you don't really hear the plastic sound so much um, <laughs> Uh, plus the feel of it's quite important as well, you know, so so if, if, if you, you you like a sort of thicker sat feel then that's that's really good. Now personally, uh, just because I'm so used to using thicker ones, if I want to sort of play faster, um, um, it's uh, it, it doesn't feel like I've got as much control with, with these thinner one mil ones. Uh, I, you know, if I'm doing like sort of fast re-picking. Re um, it's just the, these sort of thicker ones feel a bit more secure, but it entirely depends on what you're playing. You know, if, you, if you're not uh, aiming to be a speed merchant, then um, one mil or above. So that is uh, picks, flat picks. Now, um, I mean, obviously you can completely just use your fingers. We'll just go back to clean for a minute. Um, so if we use plain finger style, that is. Um, so nice sort of me mellow sound. Now, personally, my my nails are terrible; they just break all the time. So um, I struggle to grow them. Uh, I'll never be a classical guitarist, sadly. But um, you can you can get a brighter sound if you use um, first of all a thumb pick. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll go over the the different types um, or some of the different types you can get in a minute. But um, Uh, so I'm actually doing a little bit of palm mute in here, um, but uh, you can probably hear straight away that it's actually quite a bit brighter sound in the bass. So particularly with palm muting, it really kind of um, separates the sound out because often uh, with, with, with this style of um, playing, um, it's it's almost sort of emulating um, sort of old um, uh, piano, sort of like stride, um, you know, rag, ragtime style uh, piano where um, the, the left hand's playing a bass line and the right hand's playing the melody or the chords, uh, that, that type of thing. Um, so, so the thumb is effectively like the, the bass line very simple on three strings obviously but the thumb is, is sort of rhythmically independent from the fingers so if you can get the tone to be a little bit different as well then you, you, you get you know a nice sort of contrast um, so different types of thumb picks um, so this this plastic actually feels much more sort of plasticky, um, less less kind of substantial than the, um, the, the the flat picks I was just playing with before, but it actually still sounds pretty good. Um, so you just like wrap it around your thumb; it's coming out at an angle. So basically, if you if you're using an actual finger pick, um, it's coming out the side, isn't it? It looks like it's coming out the side of your thumb. If you can see that. So when you put the thumb pick on. It basically wants to be emulating that. So if you ever did want to play single lines, you can still you can play like that, or you can um, now personally. Uh, I don't like ones with loads of plastic sticking out the side like a big pick because. Um, um, you, you know, you're used to doing things with your fingers and just directly grabbing things and what have you. So um, the, the, the kind of more distance there is away from your finger, kind of it feels like the less control you've got. So I, I, um, I've, I've got a couple of others um, down here, which I'll show you, but I, I find um, this there's just a bit too much pick on the end when you've got it on your, your finger. Um, they do sell ones like this which uh, uh, sort of marketed as being a bit faster. Uh, I don't personally feel that much difference, to be honest, um, but I don't know, you might, it's personal preference, you know, they're all relatively cheap, particularly ones like these, you can probably pick them up from most music shops, you know, so you could, you, you could just get yourself two or three and see what you settle on, really. Um, so I don't know, you might be able to hear the difference, so I'll just do the same thing again.
just one more time with this standard one. Okay. Um, I found one of these, however, a little bit more expensive, but uh, quite good. Uh, so that's called a, a pro pick. Basically, as you can see there, it just looks like a completely standard pick, but um, you stick it on your thumb like that flat pick on your thumb and uh, and again just because I'm quite used to using flat picks it just feels quite uh, more natural really um, I quite like the, the shape of it the dimensions but it's, it still sounds pretty pretty similar it's just more, more a question of what what feels good to, to play with um, there's these ones as well called Zuki's which are actually slightly angled I don't know if you can see that so it's just tilted back a little bit and you can get varying degrees so we've got uh, 10 20 and 30 so uh, by the time you get to 30 it's it's angled quite a bit more than the uh, the 10. now a great idea uh, they feel like quite nice plastic as well but the problem i have with them is uh, there's just too much sticking out the side so um like i was saying before uh haven't really been able to get get on with them get a little bit stuck um, if i'm just trying to play them normally but if they're a bit smaller it might be a really good idea having that angle because that depending on like what angle you approach the strings at uh, you might get less scrape and more sort of attack so a really good idea just not personally for me so Zuki's uh, Pro Pick uh, spelled P-R-O-P-I-K um, and just standard ones um, you know, pop, support your local music shops, pop down there. Um, if they haven't got anything sort of specialist enough, um, you know, have, have a look online, see what you can find. Uh, there's, there's some decent um, uh, online retailers in uh, the UK, the US, and other places like that. Uh, but that's basically about it in terms of using picks.